Hello there, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel and I'm pleased to have you here again on this channel. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. I pray this channel becomes an encounter for you in the name of Jesus. I pray God uses me to bless you tremendously in the mighty name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, family, you know I love you and I pray for you always. So earlier on today, we had a live session and we were praying while we we're praying God gave a prophetic word and I know the video was too long it was a live session it lasted for over 40 minutes and I know not everyone is gonna be opportuned or maybe have the time to go watch that so I decided to reduce that to a few minutes so that many more people can connect to it it was a very powerful word and so God was talking to us about what will happen to you if you do not give up God was saying, if you do not give up, he started by telling us that do not give up. He's working on your case. Do not give up. He is working on your case. He used the story of Lazarus to walk us through and to give us prophetic words and prophetic declarations. Lazarus, he knew about Lazarus' sickness, yet he traveled. Jesus was informed about Lazarus' sickness, yet he traveled and went to another town and only came back when Lazarus had, had died and was buried four days ago in a tomb. He was already buried. When Mary and Martha saw Jesus, they cried and said, if you were here, if only you were here, your friend, the one you love, would not have died. Jesus joined them and wept. And later, he said, take me to the tomb. They said, Master, he's been dead four days. The situation has become hopeless. By now, he should be stinking. It's a hopeless situation. Yes, he's going to rise again. On the resurrection day, when Jesus told Martha that, don't worry, your brother Lazarus will rise again. He said, she said, yes, he's going to rise again on the resurrection day. I believe. I do believe. And before that, Martha first said, I know, whatsoever you ask of your father, he's going to give it to you. And Jesus responds by saying, don't worry, your brother will live again. He's going to rise from the dead. That is our problem. Many of us, we believe in miracles. We believe that God can do a miracle. We just don't believe he can do it in our life. Martha says, I know that whatever you ask of your father, he's going to give you. And Jesus tells her, yes, your brother will live again. He's going to rise from the dead. And she says, yes, I know on the third day. That was not what Jesus was talking about. She believed Jesus was strong, but did not believe that Jesus could do it for her. Could she believed Jesus' father hears him whenever he calls, but she did not believe he would hear him on their case. That is the problem. We celebrate miracles that happens to others, but we do not believe they exist because we've never seen them and we don't think it can ever get to us. And when Jesus went to the grave, just like he said, just like Mary said, Mary had a revelation that when, when Jesus calls, his father always hears. And when Jesus got to the grave, what he said is, Lord, Father, I know you always hear me when I call. Hear me one more time. The same revelation that Martha had, but just that he did not personalize it. He did not think he could do it for himself. And Jesus turned and told them, I love that, but I want to read it for us. It is John chapter 11, verse 40. Jesus says, Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? If you would believe, you would see the glory of God. It doesn't matter how hopeless that situation is. It doesn't matter how bad that situation is. It doesn't matter how dead that situation is. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. I want to extend this word to you that is watching right now. And you are in a situation that seems almost impossible. You have lost hope because it seems really tired. And maybe you have had maybe a doctor's report or something. And they are saying that is the final say. Maybe the court has already granted you a divorce and you know it is over with that marriage. I don't know what it is. Maybe they have given you a quick notice and you're getting ready to go sleep under the bridges. God says, if only you would believe you will see the glory of God. I want to extend that word to every one of you that is watching. As you believe, as you believe, it doesn't matter how tough or how bad the situation is. You are going to see the glory of God in the name of Jesus. You will see the glory of God in your life in the name of Jesus. I speak to every dead situation, every 
three death situation as Jesus cried with a loud voice and asked Lazarus to come back to life I pray every death situation in your life is coming back to life in the name of Jesus every death situation in your life is coming back to life barren wombs barren wombs are receiving life in the name of Jesus empty bank accounts are receiving money in the name of Jesus I pray for you every death situation any situation that was declared dead that people had written off on like they did for Lazarus it is coming back to life in the name of Jesus receive it now in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus it is coming back to life in the mighty name of Jesus amen May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. May every dead situation in your life come back to life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I believe that God is going to do it for you. And all the glory will go back to him in the name of Jesus. As you believe, you are going to see the glory of God in your life, in that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Shalom.